So we'll be looking at question 11 um, of May, June 2009. So the diagram shows the LRAC curve of a typical firm of a typical firm in an industry and the demand curve for the industry's product. Um, and they've asked which market structure is most likely to occur in this industry. Now, there are two things you need to look in this particular question. You know, first need to think about the minimum efficient scale. And the second, you need to think about the number of firms in, well, in the industry. So like, uh, how many number of firms does the industry normally have? Um, so that will help you solve this question. Now, if you look at it, the, the demand curve, the, the, the output that the demand curve, uh, that, that the industry rather is demanding is going to be somewhere around here, depending on the price level, right? So something, something like this. Uh, this is, this is the quantity that the industry wants, uh, that the overall, uh, overall demand that exists in the industry. And now you have to look at how many firms can be uh, productively efficient and well, it can be efficient rather can be, can, 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 sorry, let me correct that. So how many firms uh, can produce at the lowest possible LRA uh, long run average cost and hence full, completely extract and benefit from the economies of scale and hence give you this particular output. Now, if you look over here, you're, you've been given the LRA seeker. So the firm would want to produce a, an output of somewhat around here because this is basically its minimum efficient scale, uh, which would basically be the minimum point because it's, it's U-shaped. Um, so the idea is this is the point where all your economies of scale are utilized and the point right before your diseconomies of scale start to set in. So this particular quantity, let's call that, let's call that Q1, is a particular quantity a firm would want to produce. Now, if you quickly look from the diagram, if we call this distance X, this distance would be, I don't know, roughly maybe 2.5 X, maybe 3 X, maybe 2 X. So two to three times of X. Um, again, just a rough estimate looking at the diagram, which means that if one frame can produce this much quantity and you need this much quantity, like this, you need quantity, let's say QT overall to satisfy the demand of the industry, you would need around four to five firms, one could say. Um, approximately like three to five firms would be a better uh, estimate. That's much how many you need uh, in order to satisfy the demand of the industry. So now you just look at which market structure has uh, four to five firms. It's not monopolistic that has a lot of firms. It's not a monopoly, that's just one firm. An oligopoly makes sense, perfect competition just has too many firms. So that was the idea, uh, and that was the way you could solve this particular question.